Hello, welcome back to our bonus video 2020 and um, I will do it now in English and explain the technical part in English because uh, in my previous video I have already explained it in German so I think for our international practitioner and master it will be also good to hear this in English and our German master and practitioner are also able to speak English, of course most of them, but I think it will be okay for them. We have um, practitioner and master from eight countries and so it is important to do this on a more international level. So what we will do today is a very complex tool and uh, normally I do my Tango tools with only one technical part to learn and at that time we need something more complex to overcome this hard time of uh, corona virus virus and uh, yes we have three technical parts in it the first part is um, what we call in tango dissociation it is nothing else than a contra body movement so we will move um, for instance, the right uh, shoulder with the um, uh, left leg in combination. And uh, this makes us um, turn. This is a tool or this is a technique for turns in tango or for movement, turning around, seeing the world from other parts. And this is important now to, to change the focus and to see other things, to see other options, what you can do. And the second thing is a, a weight change, what we um, include in this tool. The weight change makes also options. If you are able to change from one point to another, you can see the world in different ways and have more options. And um, when you use both parts of your body, for instance, right and left leg, right and left uh, shoulder, at the same time, um, your brain has to work from both hemispheres. This means from the emotional as well as the rational part. This is what helps us to make better decisions, to have decisions not only from our emo coming from our emotions, um, we have also the rational aspect. Yeah? But of course we are also people making their decisions only from their rational part and this can also be harmful because we always have to respect our emotions and of course the emotions of other people around us. Um, yeah, this is the most important part. We have the dissociation, we have the weight change in it and um, we do it from both sides. I have today um, a little bit help from Harald. You will see him uh, when we do it together, uh, the exercise. But at, at first I will begin to make the exercise a pre-exercise to come into uh, the movement, to um, come into the music, to feel the rhythm and the beat and um, to make also a pre-exercise for um, the weight change in the cross. This is the third technical part what we have inside. It is a cross. This is very extreme um, work, it's a kinesiological um, technical tool what we use to trigger um, our both um, brain parts. I've already explained what it means and when we have our feet crossed um, we are in that point that our right, left, our right brain part is um, connected with our left leg, for instance, and our left brain part is connected with our right um, leg. So this 
works always crosswise our um, our brain uh, in connection with our neuromotor functions and um, it is not something for Parkinson diseases or people with um, motor problems. This is a real tool for practitioner, for master, um, or people uh, who are already dancing tango. So this is a, an exception what I do now. Normally all who know um, Nauru Tango know exactly what I do all on the most basic uh, level, mm, easy for people also doing doing with it with uh, 91 or 92 years um, and we can do my tools um, but this is today an exception to bring us through this hard time and uh, so I just hope you you will have fun with it. Thank you. So now I will explain the pre-exercise um, for this very complex tool. We will have two steps forward, across, two steps backward and again across. And you will see that we always do it with one foot going, um, so going first. And uh, we can, of course, in the middle of the song or in, in the middle of the exercise, we can change the foot and uh, we take the other foot to go always forward first and forward uh, and backwards first. So this is uh, the idea and um, I show you the exercise now. Mm -hmm. 